Hello children. I welcome you all to our English class of class 10. Today we are going to discuss about our unit 6 and the theme of the unit is biodiversity. Today we are going to discuss about two readings, reading A, environment and reading B. Or will the dreamer awake? It's a poem. So let's listen to them. Reading A, environment. Let's listen to the thought shared by Vangari Matai, who is a very great environmentalist. She shared her thoughts in rehabilitating and proper usage of the resources. So let's focus on them. In this reading, let us know about Vangari Matai and her opinions regarding rehabilitating the environment. This is an interview with Vangari Matai, an environmental activist and Nobel Prize winner with Nippon Hyoso Kyokai, a radio station from Japan. She has shared her experiences with women and many other people. She started the Green Belt movement and also fought for equal rights for women in Africa. She is of course the first woman to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. She says that she became aware of the environment when people started asking for the basic needs like clean drinking water, food, firewood, fodder for animals etc. She understood that they needed a good government as well as environment to fulfill these needs she felt that the government must also provide a helping hand to create a good environment she opines that the good management of natural resources and when they are equally distributed and that is very important for maintaining peace people usually wage wars for them referring to the environment when she was child She often tells us like how the commercial plantations of the exotic species like pines and eucalyptus done by the British government destroyed the local biological diversity. In this regard, she refers to African stool which has three legs. She says that each of those legs refers to peace, good governance and proper management of resources. the local area of africa thus lost its biological diversity and was having a lot of damage done to the environment in 1975 she started a campaign to restore the vegetation and of course she started afforestation that is nothing but increasing in plantations in 1975 at the very first united nations conference for women in mexico The women asked for food, clean drinking water and fodder for animals. She then started teaching women to plant trees by transplanting the saplings. She even taught them the importance of good governance of environment and their responsibility to maintain it. Referring to the transformations that came henceforth were bigger transformations. The first one was observed in the ordinary illiterate women. that they were able to understand the importance of planting trees the second transformation came in landscapes which were all turned dust already now they are with a lot of greenery with a lot of trees birds and ample of groundwater in them the third transformation was the willingness of the people to fight for their rights against the corrupted officers from the government their efforts inspired other nations in africa to use their resources properly and to stop wars and to create a peaceful environment she concludes saying that the tree is a wonderful symbol of environment and even says that when we plant trees we plant future for ourselves for our children for the birds we plant something that lasts forever even after we are gone she also says that when we plant trees we are actually planting hope so taking inspiration from such a great person we all should learn to take care of the environment that is taking care of us children you please become aware of this fact and try to plant as many as saplings as you can to create a better future for yourselves tomorrow discussing about the importance of environment and taking care of it we even discuss about the poem written by medola chevalier or will the dreamer awake let us know the summary of it 
children i am discussing the summary of the poem or will the dreamer awake here i kindly request you all to once read the poem given in the text and then listen to the summary the poem all will the dreamer awake written by medora chevelier is a great example of the endangered species around us children endangered species are at a high risk of becoming extinct soon so we may not be able to see them so we have to better now take care of them it certainly questions the indifferent behavior of human beings towards the environment of animals and birds the poet medora chevelier focuses on the endangered species in the world reminding the man that if he doesn't wake up now our future generations will never know them in the jungles which are present in the east there is a tigress about to give birth to her cubs these would be the last ones of their kind if the dreamer that is a man who doesn't realize the importance of the existence of tigers he should actually try to protect them in the next stanza the poet beautifully draws the contrast between the creation of a new life of the cub on one side and the destruction that the glaciers are crashing on the other she says that these would be probably the last of the bears who would freely live and roam in the west the song that the thrush bird sings and it has laid her eggs which are not many and she kept waiting for the partner bird to return to the nest that it weaves the poet cues that these chicks could be the last ones to fly sing and live deep in the ocean in the south the young one of the whales taking birth would be the last ones to sing the whale song to shake the ocean at last the poet speaks that the center with the four directions meet and the path ahead leads up or down that's either creation or destruction this is a crucial last true moment to make choices having known the consequences or else a grandchild would certainly ask about the dreamer that is the humans why didn't they wake up at least at that moment to change our destiny and show their responsibility in protecting our environment so children it's all our collective responsibility to take care of the environment that we are living in children I hope that you all understood the essence of introducing these lessons regarding environmental protection to you and I certainly hope that we all become aware of the fact that it is not only our duty it will be our responsibility to protect the environment that we are living in thank you for staying with me in the class and until we meet in the next class wish you all happy learning